So um, with this uh, shoulder drop, biggest thing I uh, say to my guys in terms with the shoulder drop is we're not dropping our head and our shoulder at the same time to get ourselves to release. So this is good versus that overhang backer. Let's say I'm trying to, you know, make sure I over release and this overhang backer is trying to reroute me or, you know, I'm trying to get vertical. I got a seam or something like that, as opposed to just running and getting pushed and rerouted. You know, I want to get that shoulder skinny. All right. So what I tell guys, well, when do I know, coach, when the shoulder drop and when to chop? All right, because those are two different techniques. All right, a shoulder drop and a chop technique. All right, you know you should shoulder drop from a second level standpoint is when that defender is shooting his hands from right here pretty much, all right, from that chest level, all right, or higher. All right, that's when I should be working a, a shoulder drop. So pretty much that frame from right here to about right here. All right, the reason why I don't want chop right there is because if I want to chop a guy's hand down, all right, I got to do like all of that. Well, now I've exposed all of this to truly get rerouted. So again, when I'm getting that defender shooting his hands as I'm running my route, all right, to reroute me, I just got to get my shoulder skinny, all right, from that standpoint. If he's shooting his hands anything lower, all right, from right here, the, the, the midsection waist right here, well, I can just chop his hand down and keep going on my route, all right? So that's how do you know when to use shoulder drop, use the chop. That's always a question my guys have. All right, so that's when you should use it. Biggest thing is making sure we close the cushion. All right, one of my biggest co coaching points is, uh, on this is, hey, it's all about being Money Mayweather. All right, so my favorite boxer of all time, you know, that's up for debate. Whatever you want to believe in is what you believe in. Mine's just Floyd. All right, Floyd is one of the most technically sound boxers we've ever seen from a defensive standpoint especially. All right, if you know Floyd and you've watched Floyd, all right, the way in which he boxes, all right? He likes to use his shoulder as a, as, as a defender, pretty much, and stop that guy from hitting him. So if you really watch a Floyd fight, all right, sometimes Floyd will be just like this, rolling that shoulder, moving it, making that guy miss his punch, and then he'll get his shot in there. So same thing is when we're running our routes, all right? We're running this. We want to make that guy miss. I just want to have a Money Mayweather shoulder, all right? I'm running. I'm getting my shoulder skinny. I'm not dipping down or anything like that. Same thing. When you watch Floyd fight, Floyd ain't ducking like this pretty much. He ain't like that. He's using that shoulder to block anything. He's still straight up so he can do what he needs to do and get that power. All right, same thing as a wide receiver. I'm running. All right, I'm not dropping, not doing like that. I'm getting right here running, just getting that shoulder skinny, making him whiff, miss, and then I'm good to go. All right, so got to have Money Mayweather shoulder. Got to have good balance. All right, here we go, film from a standpoint of how, how we coach shoulder drop. All right. So again, biggest thing is I always want to just start off at the first level, all right, just working at the first level for the standpoint of I want to make sure they're understanding how to drop their shoulder, when to drop it, get it skinny, all right? So again, right there, you don't see guys dipping their head too much, all right? They're just getting that shoulder skinny. This is a really good example of it right here, all right? Head is still up so he can see where, the, where everybody is. Shaden is a pretty, uh, pretty shorter receiver, so he's already low to the ground, all right? He's not dipping down. He's just that low to the ground, all right? But again, you see him getting that shoulder skinny. I'm getting it away from the defender so that he can't hit me and he can't reroute me and jam me. <clears throat> again, biggest thing right here, all right, having one line. I like to do things on the line to teach those guys, hold your line. Now, right here, here's an example of where it's like, all right, it's pretty good, all right, but just be careful of dipping down and we're not dipping and ripping. This is not a dip and rip because if we dip down too much, if I'm a linebacker and I see you work this technique, I'm just gonna truly shove you at your back so that you can hit the ground because you don't have good balance right there. To me, that's not great balance. You're dipping too much. I wanna get the shoulder skinny as opposed to dipping that shoulder and getting it skinny. Just get the shoulder, make them avoid it, money may weather it, all right? But again, this is, this is what it should look like, all right, right here. All right, just again, avoiding. That's all I'm doing is avoiding with that shoulder, dropping it, getting it skinny out the way so that he can, so that he whiffs just like this as he goes to shoot and I'm back vertical. All right, if you watched any of the other sessions, all right, like I said, biggest thing, you ain't gonna see a lot of cones on drills that I do. All right, these cones right here for something else, that's to work the top of a break. All right, making sure we're working back down the window. But right here, I like to simulate game type things. As a, as a, uh, as a, especially if I'm running from a second level as a slot, this is me, the overhang backer, trying to reroute you on your seam route or on you getting vertical, whatever the case may be. So I got to make sure I maintain that leverage. All right. Even if I sometimes too, as an outside receiver, 
All right, I have to deal with the linebacker, especially if I'm into the boundary, screaming out to the flats, trying to reroute me. I got to drop that shoulder. All right, so again, you just see it. All right, pushing vertical, holding your line. All right, now here at Towson, all right, I've learned another technique from a great coach. All right, Coach Shepard, you know, he's also talked about here we like to over release as wide receivers. All right, so right here, a little bit difference between us at Idaho State where we're going to hold our line a lot more. Well, you know, now, you know, I've come to, to gain the per, this perspective of, well, let's just over-release, all right, and let's really work outside of our landmark, and we'll end up getting ourselves back on our landmark, but widen that defender, all right, we're fine with that as opposed to getting that position where he can bump us, but we still work the same thing, shoulder drop, get it skinny so that he can uh, hit us. So right here, that's all we're working, all right, one line. <clears throat> How does it translate, all right? How does it translate? So right here... Here's my time now. I'm at Towson now, so this is from spring ball. All right, right here we got a good receiver right here in the slot. All of these receivers are great too. I love, one thing about me, I love every player I coach. Every player in my eyes, you can't tell me they're bad players, all right? I'll define what type of my, how my players are based off of what type of coaching they get. If you're saying you got a bad receiver, that just makes you not the best coach, you know? So for me, I love all my guys. All of those guys are great. It's my job to get them to that standpoint. The standard is the standard. How do we get them there? All right, so right here, it's a good job by Sam. All right, Sam is over-releasing right now. All right, that defender is working out, so he knows he's going to have to drop his shoulder. Now, right there, what I'm telling Sam is, Sam, you're dipping a little bit too much. All right, if I'm that linebacker, I have that. Now I see you're off balance. If I'm that linebacker, I'm going to shove you with two, and you'll hit the ground. All right, you'll hit the ground every single time. But right here, so again, you're doing a good job of getting the shoulder skinny. What I love about this is that he doesn't spend a lot of time or just running like this for a long time. He really just, he dips too low, but he drops that shoulder enough, all right, and gets back right into his route, all right, to get himself through, got himself clear, looking for the football, all right, had that hand waving. You'll see it better from this angle. Right there, again, you see the over-release, and it's subtle. It's not nothing crazy. It's just a subtle right there. He's, he's slowly getting that shoulder skinny so that guy can't get hands on. All right, right there, that's why I'm saying, Sam, maybe you're dipping too much because right there, that's, as a linebacker, advantageous picture for me to shove you as I get that out into where I need to get to from a, uh, my coverage landmark standpoint. But does a good job, gets himself through, gets himself clear in the position to go make a play. All right, right here, does a good job. Same thing, like I said, we're going to over-release. I like over-releasing now. That's something that I like to coach now. We like to over-release as opposed to just pushing vertical. So we're going to over-release, meaning we're going to really work off of our landmark, but we're going to get back on our landmark. We want to widen that, that linebacker, all right, widen his leverage out as much as we can. So right here, Sam is doing a good job. All right, he dips that shoulder. This is way better than that last picture. On that last picture, all right, his head was really close to the ground. Body was really close to the ground. Now, right here, we got a true just getting skinny. We got the money, Mayweather. We got that money shot. All right, we got that shot right there. Using that shoulder, avoiding, blocking. Boom, getting myself up vertical, back to where I need to go, and then into the zone. 